I'm staying with the Mintrums who live in and run an exotic animal sanctuary. This is a world away from my life in Manchester. Sassy seems really down to earth, willing to get stuck Definitely in. Definitely up for a challenge, yeah, I think. up for a challenge. <laughs> I've got a feeling today might be a bit mad. I've already fed maggots to meerkats, and now 12-year-old Chloe's got me holding a snake. Hold both your hands out quite far apart. Zanea would be amazed I'm doing this without screaming. Ooh. I'll see you later. <laughs> I feel like scared a bit, but it's it's brilliant. I don't I don't know why. This place is obviously Jamie and Michelle's passion, but I want to find out how the kids feel about living here. Look, she's actually going round your neck. How old are you? I'm 12. You're 12. So obviously, do you know what you want to do yet in life? I would like to take over the zoo because um, yeah. my brother wants to do engineering. So what was it like, like moving from a house to a? A zoo. It was very weird. It was a very big change from the house with all the animals to like a massive 10 acre site with all the animals and just waking up in the morning and seeing them all. Like your friends at school and stuff like that. Do you think they like understand what it is you do yeah, here and stuff? My friends think it's really cool what we do. And it is. Maybe I need to inject a bit of exoticness into my life for today. <laughs> I mean, what she tell us? Friends when she goes to school. It's mad how literally your mum and dad have built all this in here. Mm. Are you proud of them? Yeah. yeah, I would be proud as well, to be honest. No family's ever the same, and you've got a really cool family. I think that's really inspiring that Chloe is so ambitious and knows where she's heading and knows what she's doing. Like, I'd love Zanea at 12 to know like what she wants to do, where she wants to go, how she wants to live her life, because I feel like when you're strong-minded at such a young age like that, it's easy to put the plans in place to get where you need to be. I think it's fair to say an exotic animal sanctuary is not your typical family home, but Chloe seems to love it here. Now I'm catching up with Josh in his favourite place, the Fox's Den, and I want to know how a teenage lad feels about living here and not in a regular house like his mates. Is this where you like to be? Yeah, I like, I like coming in playing with him. These are Fox. red foxes. Right, OK. And are these your favourite? Yeah, he's very dog-like. I've never seen a fox like up close and personal. In Manchester, we just see him run across the road in the middle of the night. <laughs> Do you like living here? Like on... Yeah, it's, it's nice just coming out, just going outside and just playing with the animals. Yeah. And sometimes hoping. Do you miss anything about your old house? Uh, no, not really. It's just it's nice having just animals at your back door yeah. and go see them. So it's really like a lifestyle for every single yeah. one of you, isn't it, really? What are your plans for the future? Do you see yourself, like, living on an animal enclosure? Maybe for a bit whilst I go to college and do engineering. Is that what you want to do, then, be an yeah. engineer? Uh, yeah. I'm just really grateful for, obviously, you bringing me in here and stuff, because I couldn't call one of my friends instead of you sat in the habitat of a fox, stroking a fox. They'll be like, no. I definitely haven't sassy. To me, this is like out of the ordinary. To yeah. you, this is your yeah, life. Yeah, this is just normal yeah. daily lifestyle. I'm staying with Brittany and Damien, who are Montessori parents. Can you choose one of these? That one, OK? This type of parenting technique means that they let their kids do stuff around the house I'd never dream of letting my boys do at home. And Brooklyn's much older. They even let three-year-old Sylvester cook dinner. We're just starting dinner for you in here. Oh, cool. I need my apron. You need your apron? Let me help it over your hair. Cute. There we go. So does Sylvester get involved, like, with all the cooking? We have had phases where I literally can't get him out of the kitchen and Sylvester just always wants to get involved. Yes, it's on top of the courgettes. We'll need the courgettes as well. Pour a little bit of oil, just a little bit. Don't go crazy. Wow, there's no way Brooklyn or Hudson could do this. I think I'd even struggle. Yeah, I'll be honest with you, it's the first time I've seen a little three-year-old cook. Really? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sylvester's been cooking since he was about 20 months old. Really? Yeah. What exactly was he doing? He went through a phase of like really liking eggs. Yeah. And so um, I just said to him the one day, like, oh, did you want to help Mommy make the eggs? Because I just thought, do you know what, why not? I'm here. He's not going to hurt himself while I'm, you know, I'm supervising yeah. all the time, of course. Brooklyn, in the past, he's helped with chopping up some carrots or something like that, but that's as far as it's gone.